well, hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play, there's a mystery on a train that we had to figure out who's the culprit on the train. It's like, Conan, the famous detective. Okay, so I guess this is the detective, Penguin. Hmm, yes. I can see without the slightest de hesitation detail that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question. Before us, yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of super stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, a mind-boggling mystery, one that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery, you just said. And, uh, um, er, uh, exactly. What kind of dish is that? Wait, what? Who said that? What? I am known as P Pennington. Oh, Pennington. I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Oh! The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one as a happened, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot stew and all, and this esteemed friend leads me to believe that the one responsible is you glutinous woman. <laughs> My girlfriend took the whole dinner pot <laughs> just because of her bustiest, um, uh, curvy figure, I pretty say. My oh god, I can't go on. I need a moment. <laughs> My girlfriend is a suspect. <laughs> what? Are you serious? This penguin has got the Buy stuff I of a suspect on my woman. Um, this sounds questionable, but let's move on. <laughs> if I dare say, what? What? Me? Wait, what? 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 Wait. Oh, what? What? Uh, oh, it, it means that toadette right behind her. <laughs> I thought it was the. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, are you totally cuckoo? I have like no idea what you're talking about. I, I just go with a man of flurry voice. I mean, it's, it's, um, that little toadette is right behind her, so I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> um, pardon me. Sorry, please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills. You understand? Yes, sorry. Real smooth there, Mr. Detective. Elementary is not to be messed with. <laughs> Unless you have the clues and the uh, um, practice skills. I mean, uh, how should I say it? Um, tools of the... Um, uh, crime scene, how it all, uh, 
worked out in making the crime, I think. Ugh. I don't know. I need to look into more of detective, detective stuff. I need to play more Sherlock Holmes games. I played it somewhat before. Uh, it's been a while. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> uh, very good. Now let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be caseworthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And uh, I guess that's about it, right? Oh, uh, this scene is for turtle squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Huh. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You sir are highly suspicious. I have just broken the case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad the actor. Now hold on, I don't think so. I mean, really? Uh, I don't th This is not as smart as Detective Penguin. Zip Toad the Zip Toad? No! Gizzer, Gizzer! I gotta say, I deserved a verbal thrashing, but well then, who did to it? Huh? Huh. This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Now just hold on a minute. Um, what? Okay, do we? Uh... You, my whiskered friend. I've been hovering rather suspiciously, haven't you? I find that rather suspect. Highly suspect indeed. What? What? People, I have apprehended the rogue. Yes, I have broken the case wide open. He has been so skulking about this area the whole time, under our very noses. What? I just, I just wanted to talk to and know someone where I should what I should do, or something. I don't know what to do. What? I was just talking to the... I'm not talking to detectives anymore. Not even the smartest ones. Are you serious? The pot of super stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously burned it is you! You are not the bandit, you say? Hmm, I indeed, you would say that. Well, if you are not in fact a crook, then perhaps you could prove your innocence. Here we go. By searching for the real perpetrator, then we will know what it is not you fear. I think I have a few latest details when I was on my search. I think it was the glutinous toad, the Mr. Gourmet Toad, if I must serve. I believe it must be in here. Well, 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 look at you, still fatty. Well, 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 well what do you want? Burp! Sorry about that now. What were you just saying, apart from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen, you plan the chubby good. Nice. Oh, really? You know, there are several gourmet food magazines here. So one of them is Access Express. There's a large photo of the chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. Okay. Are you sure? Huh, let's see here. This sure is mind boggling. Let's check in the room. Uh, 
There are giant mounds of cosmetics inside. Is there some sort of hoopla going on outside? Oh, the stew part, you say? Oh, stew! No, 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 far too rich for me. My dear, I am on a low-carb diet. That's what they all say. <laughs> Until I break the case of somebody hoarding some... Uh, how should I say cheating their diet? Are you sure, madam? Madam? Uh, do you think you play guilty? Uh, blow it. Is there any stuff? Uh, let's see her. Oh, coops. Check under the bed. Oh. Uh, I thought I could use coops to go under the bed. Uh, I think I'm. I could be on. Let's go to the chubby guys. Room pet. Pet a. Uh, coops, go in the bed. No? No coop? No coops, go under the bed? Alright, time out. Uh, I'll have Madame Floriata once again. Uh, uh, oh! Oh! Wait, hold up. Wait, what? What? No, I didn't. Uh, really? I did not mean to do that. Uh, I didn't know you could go- what? I did not mean to read this again. Uh, uh, stop! <laughs> Are you listening? Guys! Uh-uh. Uh. Um, okay. Back to searching. Part of her. Okay. That's strike number one. Whose room is this? There are several postcards and glossies featuring zip toed inside. <sighs> For goodness sake. Um. <clears throat> Well, a clue. There are traces of something on the carpeting. Oh, mercy! How repugnant! This looks like spilled stew on the carpeting. This is rather unfortunate. We can just follow the drop straight to the thief. It might even be the same fiend who wrote that sticky, yummy threat. What makes me say that stew is... A notoriously good for battle meal? Small. Um. What? What? Oh. There are traces of something in the carpeting. Um. Sir? Are you sure you didn't hide anything here? Um. Wait, maybe if I... Hang on. Maybe if I can go into this person's room. Um. Uh. Hang 
Hang on. Uh, anything? Hello? Is there anything? I think I need Vivian to be, like, hiding and stuff. Maybe I could try that. But let's see if I can have none of Flurry. Uh, hold on. Oh. Out of flurry? Is there any secrets I use? Really? There's nothing around? There's nothing! What is going on? Uh, there are several detective novels here. What do I need to do? Sorry if I'm... <laughs> I have no clue whatsoever here. Something like... Let's... Brew. Really, there are traces of something in the carpet. Wait, hang on. That's maybe that's where it started, and it goes this way. It was that fatty tubbo. It was that fatty tubbo. What the shit? Of course it is. And I need... Bola, what do you want? Burp. Sorry about that now. What were you just saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen and you're playing the chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drops of stew on the floor outside? No, no, no. I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawers, so you need to look. But there's... So no need to look. I won't find a thing. Really. <laughs> uh. But... <laughs> so there is something. There is something under the magazine. <laughs> Why can't we even just do that? Okay, so I think we need to look for the clue of the drops, talk to him, find the dialogue that says there's nothing in the drawer, which there is something that they just put in there just to <laughs> throw you off, but you know it's in something that he's hiding. So we found a pot under the magazine. There has to be. I knew there has to be something in there. I just knew it. You... What do you get to say now? Get? I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me. Of course it was him. I knew it from the start. And it took me this long to figure out how to get the pot back from this guy. Unbelievable. So you were so enamored. Uh, so you were so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more? And you stole the entire pot when the chef was shopping shallots? Answer. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Justice of his served. Very satisfying. Many... May this terrible crime never recur, and you may, and you, my dear sir, yes, you with unkept facial hair, my keen sleuthing instincts, and identified you as the correct person to call or 
the ruffian. Now about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in, in me. But we cannot speak there, fine. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, I, man, I can't read. But we cannot speak here, find me in room six, so that we may discuss this in private matter. I love how you want us. Oh, and one more thing. And please return the pot to the chef, if you could. Yeah, I'll do that. Everybody's lazy. I had to do everything. Everything! God. Everybody's so lazy. Why is everybody so lazy? Tell me. Okay, Steffi, Shimi. So you fell out of the beef. Or wait, I mean the thief. I am enjoying them. Jelly Puck? Ah, uh, sewer. You are the hero of my world. You have even brought my butt. It is empty, of course, but it is mine and I love it. Thanks to you from me. It is uh, just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please take it. Oh, why must I butcher this language so, so shameful? Please take it. I mean. Kirby Shard! Oh, thank you, little cheapy cheapy you see me. Cheapy cheapy CD. <laughs> cheapy cheapy see me. <laughs> okay, room six. Here we go. Eh. <clears throat> Pardon me? <laughs> Thirsty. Oh ho! I have been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky yummy milk on it. I have deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in the, his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. I may have a little bit of experience, but I am smart, but... Okay, what do you got for me? Do you think we can work together? So it is decided that I shall take you on as my new assistant. And I did not even read it whatsoever, not even a peek. I was looking at Mario and the penguin. I kind of knew he, we were going to be assistants. Having him tag along for this mystery. I just knew it. Uh, reiterate. Re reiterate. How do you say that? To reiterate. I'm just gonna go with that. My name is Pennington. I am a detective from Partially Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I am sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on this subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall de deduce your identity. That moustache, that nose. Da 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 da. Oh, all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famous Luigi, are you not? Dude, I'm in red, not green. Get your facts right. I am not tall, I am fat and... I am fat and small and fat short kind of deal. I am wearing red, sir. Not green. Red, do you not know what red is? And I do not have an L on my hat. I have an M on my hat. Alright. Really. No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. 
Now about this threat, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion that the family of Bobobs, they are definitely suspect. Now Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Okay, I will deduce this truth on the train for our second mystery in the next episode. See ya, blessed be, and show some support. I love you guys. Bye. See ya.